Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Dr. Jones' YouTube channel. Prophet, you betrayed me by raping my wife, sister. Men testifies against church leader at CRL. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Dr. Jones' YouTube channel. Prophet, you betrayed me by raping my wife, sister. Man testifies against church leader at CRL. The husband of a man who was allegedly raped by the leader of Heaven International Fellowship Church says the things have been the same have never been the same in their marriage. The husband told the CRL Commission that his family had been threatened since they fled the church's mission. The witnesses have claimed the leaders very manipulative and that even the most educated people who are congregants fell for his tricks. Samuel Paul, heaven, I did nothing to you. I respected and honored you. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to Dr. Jones' YouTube channel. Prophet, you betrayed me by raping my wife, sister. Men testified against church leader at CRL. The husband of a man who was allegedly raped by the leader of Heaven International Fellowship Church says things have never been the same in their marriage. The husband told the CRL Commission that his family had been threatened since they fled the church's mission. The witnesses have claimed the leaders very manipulative and that even the most educated people who are congregants fell for his tricks. With the witnesses have claimed that Samuel Paul Heaven, I did nothing to you. I respected and honored you, but you betrayed my trust by raping my wife and my sister. These were the words of a heartbroken husband, Joseph Tukudu, at the Commission of the Promotion and Protection of the rights of cultural, religious, and linguistic communities, CRL, CRL Rights Commission, on Thursday. He testified against the leader of Heaven International Fellowship Church leader, Basakwa Namoleko, known as Samuel Paul Heaven. The church leader is at the center of explosive allegations of sexual and financial exploitation and human trafficking at the hearing chaired by Professor David Mosona. Chukudu's wife 
Sonia. Elia testified that she was allegedly, allegedly raped on two occasions by the prophet on 6 and 10 October 2020. The commission also heard that the leader of the church located in Mayton, Johannesburg, was manipulative and that his word and instructions were final and should be followed. Moleko was described as authoritarian and sometimes spoke down to those who lived at the mission. When he instructed people to see him, they apparently had to run to him. Sukudu so told the commission, If you disobey this man, you disobey God. Sacrifice Sukudu so testified that he had attended the church since 2015 and was very active in the ministry to the extent he was called in by Moleko, but he had no idea things would turn sour to the point that he now feared for his and his family's lives. The congregants, who is a college lecturer, told the commission that they were asked to move in to the church's mission house last year during the national lockdown. He said they had moved in with his wife, child who attends primary school, and sister. Chukudu said when they were moved to the mission house, he noticed a lot of strange things, including that everyone who lived there ate spinach and rice for supper every day. He said when he first moved in, with his family. Moleko told him that you eat what is being eaten here. Rape, forced contraception and financial exploitation, CRL, years of church leaders alleged sins. He said these leaders teachings about man were also, I mean were always based on sacrifice. He would say when we enter the place, we must enter by sacrifice. In other words, we must give our all. So with my salary, I had to give everything after paying the loan and school fees. I couldn't even do anything for myself. I even had to buy groceries for myself and the people that were there in the mission house. He said the church leader always encouraged them to sow a seed. Sukudu added that Moleko was always at his cottage at the church, which also made them suspicious because they wondered when he was spending time with his wife and children. He said the prophet's teaching was also deceiving and suspicious in that whatever they did, whether they killed still for the kingdom of God, they were still called righteous. Sugudu's wife testified that Moleko allegedly raped her in his cottage. She testified he made her undress and pray before putting his fingers inside their private path. The man said, A lot of people who are under this prophet are not fools. They are educated, but we don't know what comes over us when we are in that place. I went there to seek God, to draw closer to God. I didn't go there for my wife to be raped, exposed. It was only after his sister had revealed that the church leader had allegedly raped her that his wife also revealed that what had happened to her. 
But Sugudu said he had noticed his wife's behavior changed before that and that she started asking questions about what had led his spirit to the church. The husband said when he thought back to the dates his wife was allegedly raped, they were on a 10-day fasting stint and were not eating and drinking water. Sugudu said their lives had been has never been the same after they fled the church in the wake of the alleged abuse. He said that they now lived in fear, adding there was also an attempt to petrol bomb his parents' house in Belcom. We are no longer the same as a couple. We fight over small things. This man is after my family, tormented my parents, tormented me emotionally. He took everything from me, but still wants to come back and threaten me. I thank God for this opportunity that at least we spoke it publicly, even if he doesn't go to prison, but we exposed him, he said. Sokudu said Moliko had also called them, threatening to destroy them. The newspapers contacted the church earlier on Thursday to speak to Moliko about the allegations made against him at the mission. But the woman who answered the phone said, he was on a prayer mountain and unavailable. While the woman said that the church would contact a newspaper once he returned, calls to the church again in the afternoon were left unanswered. Thank you very much, people of God. This was Dr. Jones. If you have never subscribed, like, or comment, please do so under this video. If you see red, return subscribe, please click. Then you will always be updated about any video that I post. It's a free, no charges. Thank you very much, Dr. Jones, VIP YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye.